So, Mr. Turkey, what are we doing here? We are getting ready for Christmas. How's it going everyone? Zodok Theater 65 on Jemmy Master Animatronics. And today I'll make a review over this dandy collector's choice. Uh, Christmas, Ratneck, Stupid Turkey. I'm not really sure what the hell it's called and I don't care either. So a lot of you might have seen the regular version that sings Hey Good Look. And in fact, I was trying to look for a video of this and I couldn't find a single one. So I'm not just sure what was going on there, but this is the Christmas version that was probably released the same year, which I assume it must have been 2013. So, yeah, you got a fucking turkey that sings Jingle Bells in a redneck, you know, accent. And it has a camo Christmas hat and a camo scarf. What the fuck went on there? Somebody please fucking explain. I, I, I don't understand it. Um, you know... Over that, the mechanism is stupid. The you know I, I really have a a bone to pick with those mechanisms that just go down and open the mouth because they are just so fucking dumb. Yeah, it's the the thing cannot the thing cannot stand by itself. It's always gonna do this and it's gonna fall. And you know that's why I think it's better to keep the box for it. Um, so how did I get this? This is actually something that Jaden gave me. So thank you very much for it, Jaden. Um. He sent me it with a few other things, like the Flirty Flasher and some others. And uh, it's one of the ones that made it to Argentina this time. <clears throat> Maybe next year or the or the year after, I'm going to be get, uh, not getting, uh, yeah, bringing the other stuff. So I had to fix it and I, I just got done with it. And I haven't even painted the eyes. The eyes have like these scratches on them. I had to remove the eyes. I had to take everything apart. It had corrosion. I got rid of the corrosion. Now it's perfect on there. Um, due to my laziness and the fact that I forgot about this, the second I was almost done with this thing, I forgot that I had to stitch the button. So what I ended up doing is just hot gluing it to around here. There. So, yeah, I mean, again, it's dandy collector's choice. You can't argue that. Even though the quality is really questionable, they still call it collector's choice. Because why not? It's got a, it's got three Velcros, one here, one here, and one here. So you open this, and there's the battery compartment. It uses three AA batteries, and I'm not too sure where the hell it was sold, but I'm assuming it must have been Walmart, as those were the ones that carried the original version back then. But I don't know. Again, even even you know, seeing the collector's choice tag is something I make me cringe too much because this is questionable. You got a, a well-made beak, you know, perfect, good quality material. Go to the feet and they are trash, absolute trash. It's like those, it's like those stupid turkey hats. Even the same with the bottom of the tail. So these things are <laughs> nearly discardable. Like I was this close, I was this close to scrapping it up and, this, and then I realized, wait, why the fuck am I going to scrap it up? It's a fucking present, I'm not going to do that, okay? I, I treasure presents so much that I don't really, even if I hate them, I don't necessarily even give them away or scrap them. I, I keep them. So, anyways, um, as I said, it's going to sing a wreck neck version of Jingle Bells, and uh, here we go. The button's around here now. Let me just poke it. Damn it. Jingle Bells, shotgun chills, Christmas on the way. I'm just so confused. I'm just so fucking confused. I mean, I get the fact they are mixing Christmas with Thanksgiving, but I'm just so confused. I don't get this. I'm sorry. I just don't fucking get it. Maybe because I'm from Argentina, but I don't fucking get it. Um, anyway, so other than that, uh, <laughs> that's practically it. <laughs> it's pretty funny, weird, but I hate the fact it's so unstable. That's the one thing I seriously do hate about it. 
and I was thinking, hey, maybe I could, you know, 3D print some kind of stand or something and keep the legs straight. But in all honesty, if I put this, you know, if I store this, those things are going to break off. So I'm not even doing anything to it. I, I don't even know. Again, I just don't understand what, why the hell they would make a fucking thing with a giant head that's, you know, facing the front and it's going to go up and down, back and forth and the freaking back, what would be the, uh, you know, the, the place where it's supposed to be laying on. It's, you know, it's, I just don't get it. I mean... I, I I don't get it. I don't get it. They could have made a fucking head bobber with a moving mouth or something, you know, something a little bit more acceptable. No, they had to go with the uh, with the t mechanism thing. Now, you guys may be, and I, I'm pretty sure you've noticed it by now, and I also have. I'm not too sure why the hell this thing doesn't move as much as the others, because, you know, the others go like, looking, you know, super down. And you guys are going to have to, you know, you guys are going to be thinking, hey, maybe it's because of the spring. Yes, it is true. The spring is tightened the most it can be tightened, but it's because if not, the, the head's just not going to retract properly. I've already seen it. Even if you put it one hole away, it's not going to retract properly. So rather having it reset properly than, you know, and even then it's not going to get to this point. It never got to this point. So again... That's what it is. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And, uh, well, there's the turkey. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> thank you, Jaden, and uh, thank you for watching everyone else.